Hello, I'm James Clark from King's College London, and in this short video I'm going to show you how to use the layouts in GraphPad Prism. Once you've entered all of your data and created graphs, you're probably going to want to present them or create figures for publication. The way GraphPad Prism handles multiple figures on single pages is using the Layouts tool. Layouts is the bottom section of the navigation panel on the left-hand side of your Prism window. The quickest way of creating a new layout is to click on the New Layout underneath the word Layouts in the navigation pane. I'm going to do so now. You'll be shown the Create New Layout dialog box. Within this box you can choose many options regarding the way you lay out figures on a page. For instance, at the top you can choose whether you have a portrait or landscape aspect ratio. Beneath that you can change the background colour of your page. For instance, if you're creating a page of graphs for a poster or a PowerPoint presentation with a different coloured background. Underneath the page options, you can choose how you want your graphs arranged on the page. For convenience, Prism gives you eight options, ranging between one and nine graphs on a page. But by using the options given, you can either create a blank page with no graphs at all, or create an array of anything up to 12 by 12 graphs. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to choose a landscape page, and I'm going to choose the 2x2 two two graph option, and press OK. Now I'm presented with layout 1. In this case, this is my 2x2 two two graphs. In order to add a graph to my layout, I simply double-click on one of the placeholders. In this way, I can insert one of the graphs that I've already created. So for this example, I'm going to place my ejection fraction graph. You can choose whether you link your graph, and therefore any changes you make in the data will be reflected in your layout. Or you can unlink the picture, and therefore the graph can no longer be edited on the layouts page. There are also other options to crop your image. But for now, I'm going to accept and enter this graph. An alternative way of adding graphs to your layout is to simply drag and drop your graphs from the Graphs section of the navigation panel on the left. So I'm going to drag the end systolic volume graph and drop it into my second placeholder. If you change your mind where you want your graphs, you can simply drag different graphs from the left-hand panel or double-click on one of the existing graphs to choose an alternative. In addition to adding graphs from the current project, you can add other graphical objects such as JPEG or PNG images, as well as adding graphs from other GraphPad projects. So for instance, in this bottom left-hand side, I'm going to introduce a graph from another project. By double-clicking on the placeholder, the Place Graph Layout appears, and I can choose Pick Graph from another project. By selecting another project, for instance this one, I can choose which graph from the list of graphs within this project to insert onto my layout page. I'm going to choose this one. And now the graph object from another PRISM file is on my layout page within this PRISM file. This is very useful if you have multiple projects across multiple files and you wish just to use one figure from another project. Bear in mind, though, that the graph that has been inserted from another project is not part of your current project, and if you wish to edit these data or change the formatting of the graph, you'll need to go back to the original project to do that. Now I want to insert a graphical object, so I'm going to click on the placeholder and delete it by pressing backspace. Now from the Insert menu, I'm going to choose Import Picture, and select the file I wish to import, in this case an ATP molecule. Depending on the resolution of the file you import, it may well occupy the entire page, but don't worry, you can click on the file, drag a corner to make it smaller, or you can double click on the file and choose the exact size you wish your image to be in the Format Image option box. I'm going to resize this manually, 
and then place into the bottom right hand corner. It is worth noting that on the layout page objects will automatically snap to other objects. For instance if you move a graph around the page Intuitively, PRISM will snap the X and Y axes to ensure that all of your graphs are lined up. For instance, I can move this image on the right, away and down, but when I return it to the right level, the dotted line indicates that the X axes are now snapped in place. Once you've placed your graphs and images within your layout, you can use the standard drawing and text annotation tools to add other annotations. In this more complex example, we have created multiple layouts and labelled them figure 1 through to figure 5 as these are figures destined for publication. Within each figure we have used graphical objects from within PRISM as well as importing images from other applications. In this way you can use PRISM to create complicated multi-panel figures involving both graphical and graphing objects and then export them for publication or presentation. This way you keep your projects in one place and your figures well organized.